In 6000 BC, a prehistoric megastorm ravaged the shores of the Mediterranean. Tsunami waves as tall as the Statue of Liberty raced across the sea, leveling coastal settlements from Sicily to Israel. What if this same catastrophic chain of events were to happen today? Were an event like that to be repeated today would be cataclysmic. We could be sure that all major coastal cities lying at about sea level would be inundated by such a tsunami. So the impact would be comparable to that of the 2004 tsunami in the Indian Ocean, perhaps even worse. Some believe the biggest threat comes from the Canary Islands off the coast of Northwest Africa and a volcano known as Cumbre Vieja. Cumbre Vieja is a mid-ocean volcano in the Canary Islands. It's proven to be much like uh, oceanic islands around the world that as, the, as they grow and evolve, their, their flanks tend to collapse. An eruption of Cumbre Vieja in 1949 created an enormous crack in the volcano, pushing a huge chunk toward the ocean. And the danger now is that another eruption sometime in the future could dislodge the entire half of this mountain and send it hurtling into the ocean. Scientists fear that if Cumbre Vieja were to collapse all at once, more energy than the entire United States consumes in six months would be sent surging into the Atlantic, triggering the most powerful tsunami ever recorded. The first waves would hit Morocco and the west coast of Africa about an hour after the landslide and they could be up to 300 feet tall. Computer models predict a wall of water more than twice as tall as the Statue of Liberty would hit parts of North Africa, wiping out everything for miles inland. These are just unbelievably large waves that we're talking about. Once you cross to that level of just hugeness, the place is going to be wiped out. The computer simulations show the next to be hit would be southern Europe, Tsunami waves would then race west across the Atlantic, striking the Caribbean and the Americas, nearly 4,000 miles away. These waves, as they radiate out from the source of the landslide, are traveling across the ocean at jetliner speeds, perhaps in excess of 500 miles per hour. It's going to be like a fat man sliding into a bathtub and it's going to pound into the eastern coastline of the United States with unimaginable effects. Everything from Boston South down to the Florida Keys is going to be on the receiving end of a gigantic wall of water. Scientists predict waves as high as 165 feet could slam into shore, pulverizing the coastline. We'd be looking at water that would be moving deep into uh, states and, and pushing aside everything in its path. If this tsunami were to strike, hundreds of millions of people would be at risk the impact would be unheard of in modern times. Scientists do not believe this doomsday scenario of a Cumbre Vieja tsunami will occur anytime soon, but some are convinced it will eventually happen. The important thing here is to know about the possibility, because if you hear about Cumbre Vieja erupting, hmm, you might think to yourself, Maybe I should pay attention to the news. Maybe I should pay attention to whether or not there's a warning. And then you'll have a few hours to react to it. Volcanic sources, and, and really all tsunami sources, are essentially like ticking time bombs. We don't really know what their clocks are. So it's, it's, it, it makes sense to go out and investigate them and see whether they're things we really need to be worried about in the short term. In geology, it has always been said the past is the key to the present. There's a strong need for understanding the processes that generate these phenomena, and there's an extremely strong need to inform the public and prepare the public. Since the dawn of time, tsunamis have plagued the planet. These same lethal forces of nature that devastated ancient settlements thousands of years ago remain a danger today. <laughs>